Good morning. I am no makeup. Still, I just woke up. Well, I woke up. I woke up two hours ago. <laughs> just had my chat with my therapist. I'm ready to go back to sleep. I was going to say ready to start the day, but I really want to go back to sleep. I didn't fall asleep until about 3 a.m. 3 a last night. I didn't go actually to sleep until about like 12.40. But the rest of the time I was just laying in my bed, just laying in my bed, and I could not fall asleep. I was like tossing and turning. You think I'm crazy, possibly. You know, I really want to sing today. I really, really want to sing today. And actually, I have a wonderful little video to do today. I'm very excited about that. Last night, I was in my room, imagining, dancing to this song, Senza Jacca e Cravatta, by Nino D'Angelo, I think. Because I was browsing through Spotify's global top 50 or whatever and there are so such weird songs on there that I'm like why is this a top song right now it really doesn't sound like we have actual music <laughs> being released nowadays but this one girl Anna her song is like Bondo or something I don't know I think it was the same Italian dialect as Nino D'Angelo which I don't remember it's not Sicily it's Napoli I think made me think of his song and it's such a beautiful song and I want to put that out there on Instagram sending good vibes to, to Italy because they're they're in a rough shape however spain i feel like is in a increasingly rougher shape the u.s is is not very far behind you see it coming you see them dealing with that you would think like oh crap we need to do something about it but i don't feel like anyone reacted fast enough or by the time they saw it it was too late but also they didn't act fast enough they weren't even reacting all these people and i'm not just talking about the u.s and not governments as much as like people like use your common sense not everyone is under a rock so many people are watching the news all the time so you would think that people would just act a little more proactively at least reactively but we're very far behind even reacting but anyways but i'm excited i'm going to try to decipher the language because i do know a little bit of italian but that dialect it's at least sounds very different i don't know italian that well and it's been so many years since i've actually studied italian i miss it so much though and again like coupled with oh my gosh the roughness that they are facing and they have faced in the past can't believe it's only been three weeks i just want to do that i wish there was some way to sort of like make it into a charity fundraiser type of thing i'll try to find that out and see if i need to be any like famous person to do that through youtube i wish i could do that and have the funds go any donation go to towards italy's fund i don't know if that's a thing yeah i'm excited about that and we're going to have a very filled day i need to edit still edit yesterday and the day before so i'm pretty caught up i'm pretty good with that right now i ate half of my sandwich in breakfast sandwich i also drank tea because i felt like having a change put it in here because having an actual cup in the car is hard wasn't very happy of wasting one of these because i only have two other left i think or three other left i'm gonna go finish the rest of my breakfast i'm going to take a shower figure things out with my mom wants to order something because it takes about a week or so to have the curbside pickup and blah, blah 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 maybe edit do my youtube video of senza jacca e cravatta maybe sing one of my own songs work on my vision board which i have some i had a really good experience last night in my imaginary situation i want to have that feeling and i want to like verbalize it and visualize it of what i want every day to feel for me it's it's a very specific feeling about working with friends, but not working with friends but the people who you work with being your friends i don't know it's complicated i have not phrased it yet i'm so happy to have that feeling back and remember that i also am reading more of this book the big leap i have some people to reply to that i yesterday i was kind of just in my own zone and just needed like a time off from 
people and that kind of should bring me to the day's end and then i also need to work on my belief plan and etc etc there's a lot of work that i have to do for that good work fun work but i haven't really been balancing balancing balance blah, 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 blah. but i haven't been able to balance things as i used to i'm out of practice with that and it's like a muscle i also should work out speaking of balance and muscles <laughs> anyways have a wonderful day i'll talk to you in a little bit okay cool bye oh my gosh i have the perfect analogy for something so where do i start where do i start i have to be really quick because i'm freezing cold actually in this car i'm beginning to be more myself and just slowly slowly getting there and then i also in that state i meet people being themselves better like with pine tree we talk a lot about we have a very different point of view view <laughs> view about being yourself and how to do that how to go about that i mean kind of not that different but sort of anyways i'm all about wanting people to be themselves unapologetically and feel safe that they can be themselves one thing to keep in mind is with myself with him with others when you've not been yourself for a long time when you've put up this image of what you feel you needed to be to uh, be loved to, to survive basically when you're like starting to come out as yourself it can come out in maybe not the prettiest ways it can to be frank and to be very blunt it can come out in very ugly ways very ugly things can come out with that I have the best analogy to that. So, you know when you like close the water because there's a break, a leak, something in a, not a vein, a, I don't know what those are called right now. Anyways, pipe, there you go. The water comes back on and then you turn on the faucet for the first time and it just, it just splatters like that. And <laughs> All this black stuff comes out and all this stuff, it's not clean water, right? It's not actual water, it's all this other stuff. Well, that's like perfect analogy for when you're not being yourself and then you start being yourself and just like other stuff comes out that it's not really yourself. It's not the clear you, the clear water flow. It's like all this other stuff that kind of you uh, sort of like got along the way or just like it's there. I don't actually know pipes and things, but you know that happens. I'm pretty sure most people have had that experience experience i hate that i'm so scared i literally lately i just like turn it and run outside of the bathroom or whatever because oh gosh that scares me because it's so unpredictable and splatters and just all this junk and i just I, I i'm always scared that it's going to just like blow up the whole faucet but that's kind of such a great analogy even what i just said it's such a great analogy you're afraid to get hurt by someone who's opening up to be themselves for the first time or not for the first time i think we are like constantly ourselves you know here and there but really and that other person might also feel like they're about to explode and uncontrollable but if you hold on long enough if you're that person who's having someone open up to you or you're that person who's trying to open up to someone or not even someone but to the world if you wait long enough there will be just gentle clear smooth flowing water coming out soon enough i just wanted to share that analogy because i was like that is so perfect. That is so perfect. I was screaming actually in the car, but I'm not gonna scream. I feel like I, I was pretty loud anyways. Now I'm going to go and start my day. Cool, cool, cool. I am so excited about that analogy. That's perfect. That helps me with other people. It helps me with myself because I've been, you know, on this journey for the past week, two weeks of trying to do this and just like, oh, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And also with you. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that. I'm like alive all of a sudden. I'm like myself all of a sudden. I'm like back to me right now. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, cool. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Everything just feels so much better right now. But I still need to get going. So I'll talk to you soon. Talk to you later. Bye. Hello. Time to do this. I was cutting my nails and toenails. Some of them are long. Some of them are not long, but the long ones were really long. So I had to cut those. My skin is so much better. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? 
I did put this Sephora vitamin E serum thing. I combine it lately with my, sh well, not Shea, is it? What is it? Jojoba oil plus rose. That's the only two oils that this thing has. I also started exfoliating, but it's also just the, the stress and the hormones and everything calming down a little bit. It made my skin feel a lot better. There's a lot to do today, which makes me excited, but also a little bit overwhelmed if I let it, if I don't look on the bright side of it. The reason I don't cut my toenails as often is because of my stomach issues. I can't really bend like I'm doing now for too long. This acetone, it's not acetone, and I'm like, please give me acetone because is this really much healthier if I'm sitting there forever trying to take this off and it's not coming off? Is that really better? I'm pretty sure they use acetone at the nail salons. So I don't really have anything to say besides this. I continue to have you recording. I'm just going to make something up and just talk about my nails forever. And I'm gonna go fight with my big toes. And I'll see you later. Bye. I look disgusting. No. No. Hello. I'm going to bake some old flour, almond flour, cookies, brownies. Why did I say cookies? And then I'm exhausted and I just, I'm starting to feel the pressure of everything that I need to do. Anyways, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay, anyways, I just finished the 26th and now we're ready to go put some makeup on because it makes me feel better. It makes me feel creative, more creative. And then cook some brownies. Anyways, let's see.
Hello, you're not on my chair right now. You're in my arms, in my hand. I am, I guess, about to edit today's videos, yesterday's video, yesterday's video. I did the song 20%. Ooh. I kind of really wanted to do a game night with Pine Tree and his brothers. I don't know. I just, I really kind of felt like that. However, I am going to continue editing and doing all this stuff that's on my to-do list. Yes. No. Mm. Then I edited another one, but I didn't. I don't really have much to say besides that. I didn't really feel like doing any more work for tonight. I just wanted to relax or chill maybe i should go to sleep actually it's 8 10 but last night was just rough i got six hours which isn't that much usually but i truly need like nine hours when i sleep well without an alarm clock that's the amount i get so i'm guessing that's the amount i need i just ate though so i can't go like i'll go to bed at 10 hopefully that will help i'm still getting such a headache i didn't really have the vanilla coke i had just a tiny little bit today with fanta i don't know if that's where this headache is coming from it's not pleasant at all it's like nausea headache it's kind of like migraine anyways no what do you think of my makeup today i have to take off my makeup however i didn't put anything on my skin less to do all right your battery is going down rapidly so let's go and see how much more we can get out of this to-do list have a wonderful day talk to you later bye all right, so I started editing little vlog number eight and I just can't focus my eyes and everything. I'm just very tired. So I decided to just import the rest, watched a little bit of this new show called Outmatched and it's about these parents with like genius kids it's okay it's not wow but it's okay and then just updated myself on the numbers italy eighty-six thousand. us eighty-five thousand. italy nine thousand deaths nine thousand one hundred thirty-six deaths it's crazy it's a lot of people that have died overall in total twenty-six thousand six hundred fifty-four deaths In two months, those are just going to rise. What do I want to do? I'm just very tired. Oh, no more battery. Okay. I did watch a YouTube video about celebrities donating directly to people, to their fans, etc. To charities as well, like No Kid Hungry. It's just like that part is really wonderful. I wish I couldn't have money to donate. I really do. It feels very uncomfortable to just sit here and not be able to help out and donate. I wish I could do a better job with YouTube so I could raise money that way. But it is what it is right now. All we can do is do better in the future. Battery exhausted. Bye. You are so odd, you little thing. I charged you just a little bit because I felt like I need to say goodnight. And plus, like, look, I, I really like this random hair thing sticking up and I like my makeup. But I feel like you don't see it as much as on my phone. I was staring. I was vlogging, like personal vlogging on my phone. And I was like just staring at my face. I'm like, oh, I look so good today. Anyways, I was just reflecting about the day, just things that I've learned. Whatever relationship you have with your family, with your partner, significant other, it's complicated. <laughs> Friends, siblings, which I guess technically it's family, but it's its own thing. You know, everything that we learn, I think it's not new, it's not brand new, but just like slightly making more sense. You know, the image that's blurry, it's coming a little bit more in focus. It's about how humans are human. <laughs> I talked with my friend yesterday. So what you're describing is a human being human. I'm like, oh, darn it, don't say that. Growing is hard. Sometimes faced with people who help you grow. And in theory, that sounds awesome. Who wouldn't want to grow? Who wouldn't want to be better? But in reality, it's pretty painful. If you're someone who doesn't like growing, then you just run away and run away and run away. And if you're someone who loves growing, you're probably not running away at all. I can only imagine how tough it is because I'm someone who is a lot more about growing and about bettering myself and learning and sticking it out and all that stuff than a lot of people that I know. I'm the one with everyone that kind of bends over backwards for people, for my friends. They call, like my friend called earlier and felt so much anxiety because I was eating. I could not be relaxed until I called her back. Sort of accomplished it. It was just so like giving me anxiety. Considering that lately this past week 
um i felt that i don't want to come closer and the difference isn't impossible but it is painful because it posts at something that's very vulnerable in you if i feel that way i can only imagine how someone who has developed the mechanism of going outwards turning away to other options etc how that might feel for them someone who doesn't quite stick it out as much what they might feel once you get past that initial hurt of that little child inside of you and you grow from it then it becomes this beautiful clearer picture of life and of people and of yourself and you just can't help but be grateful that you have that experience and that you have that person in your life or those people in your life that help you see that picture clearer and also help you clarify it which is a little different because clarifying it would be the person that you're interacting with where it's like clashing but people who help you see it clearer are people on the outskirts that might say hey how did you think of this how would you feel in that same situation etc etc it's been a very reflective few days and i appreciate those though i don't take them for granted i don't take anything for granted it's becoming more and more beautiful and more and more amazing and i'm becoming more and more into myself and at peace and calm and centeredness i can show up more like myself and better and i'm very happy with the senza jacca e cravatta loved doing that video i want to do more like that it was so awesome to not have to make a whole big deal out of it you're missing my cool hair reflective long video about it about something you know it was just fun and nice and it showed off me, I think, a little more. Now that this isn't me, this is twelve. I said all of this better there. I don't know, just basically as a quick summary or something. When people have the same fears or the same perspective, but different reaction, different ways to cope with what they see and what they learn and what they feel and what they observe. Very opposite ways of approaching that. And both are valid, both are understandable. But then you get in this my way is better kind of thing and you forget that but yet it's just an interesting dynamic and can be a very frustrating one of how do you coexist with someone who has the same values as you do but expresses them differently how do you coexist with someone who can care for someone handles things differently but is coming from the same heart space I think it is important whatever relationship you have family friends significant other especially significant other i think because you choose or choose to not be with them and so i think that's a little more fragile and also if you live with your family because then they're there you know but i think those are important to no matter what no matter where you are going in the future with that person or those people to become my therapist just said this today not be only self-aware but be present as well and be conscious and have a conscious relationship or relating to you know one another instead of just unconsciously the kids reacting to the kids or the kids calling on the warrior to attack you know the other person's kid who goes to their warrior and attacks your kid and just like this like x sort of thing cross transaction thing and then all that is is just people or like you know the core center just feeling threatened for no reason at the end of the day because the other person cares but you feel like they don't care the longer you are in that unconscious sort of transaction the more you can hurt each other it's not even hurting each other but it's hurting yourself because when, if you notice when you're in one of those conversations, discussions, arguments, etc. With someone who, like think of uh, political debates, right? It's with like family members. I don't personally have that, but I have seen people who have a very different opinion than their immediate family, than their parents. They describe how painful that is and how painful it is. So the thing is, in that transaction, you're actually hurting yourself. You're closing yourself off from the other person's goodness. You're basically inviting all these attacks because you're attacking as well. So it's not that you're at fault, but you're not blameless either. One of those kind of weird things. At the end of the day, when you get out of those conversations where you argue about the same thing, you have the same pain with the world, but your approach to fix it is the exact opposite of someone else's approach to fix it. You come out of that conversation 
conversation with the, uh, this other person just feeling so hurt because you feel alone you feel misunderstood or you feel like no one is like you and the fact is that other person was not with you and you were not with them but you both end up feeling lonely you both end up being each other's enemies you're not on each other's side where all that conversation was two little beings wanting to be loved and the world and explaining how the world doesn't feel like it loves them it just brings up to the surface all the pain in yourself N when you come out of that transaction you don't feel better you feel maybe you feel petty maybe you feel shut down i felt shut down before but if you're sitting and being honest with yourself you feel very hurt and you just hurt yourself whereas if you like become conscious and you sit and in those conversations you like take a breath and take a moment take a beat or do something that i haven't really learned that much yet to become conscious and centered and not react and actually see that the other person is where you are you're both on the same side you're not on opposite sides and just see that you're just hurting yourself through not being aware in that moment in the present I feel like i've done it a couple times but not that often but i assume that you'll come out very different out of that interaction and transaction with that person having a conscious conversation with each other instead of unconscious conversation where your autopilot your defensive autopilot takes over and you're not talking to each other but those entities are talking to each other imagine how different it will be if you would both say hey i'm just scared both of you have the same fears and the same worries or the same things you're looking for you're just looking for them in opposite ways or different ways or different perspectives different angles whatever i don't know if that made any sense i feel like i'm sort of circling around i just really like that idea of like con consciously relating to each other because when people push your buttons they push your buttons but that's exactly what you need to not be pushed and just have that conscious moment you know be present in that moment don't make it about other things that are not what that's about always remember when i'm telling myself this i always have to remember okay i love this screensaver i don't know where i got that from but anyways always remember you're only hurting yourself the less conscious you are if you are able to sit and be aware like hey this is my child reacting right now i'm actually scared right now you know i feel attacked because of this because of that and things that i'll try to learn more and relate more i think it'll be awesome cool internal temperature i think the conscious relating related to the cross transactions look that up google that thinking just now for a second it's about being in the moment saying hey this is what we're actually doing right now instead of going just rolling with the bulldozer the snowball that's been set off being like hey this is what we're doing right now and taking a breath talking adult to adult centered to centered that's the goal but anyways have a wonderful night. Peace, love, and compassion. You. Annyeong kikaseyo. Annyeong kikaseyo. Zaijen. Bye bye. Bekuren. Pa matane. Chane. I also have to add ciao. Ciao. Hasta luego. And be safe. Learn. Explore. Relax. Enjoy. If you're able to enjoy this time as you're recovering, as you're safe from the severe symptoms or the severe sickness going on, if you're safe with other factors as well, etc. Just enjoy that. If you're not, I really struggle. I'm not sure how to help, but reach out. Try to find help because there are truly a lot of people willing to help, especially now, which is awesome to see. Anyways, have a great day. Bye.